Hello and welcome to another Atlas multiplayer episode. Today, today I've got a bit of a, I don't know what you'd call it, interesting slash not interesting slash kind of lazy day episode. So basically we're going to build something and while I'm doing it things are going to happen and I'll explain as that comes around. But today what we're building is we're building personal little like animal storage pens because as you can see it, it's kind of getting a little bit cramped in here and Robert and Bone, uh, Bones, Robert and Silent were out taming a rhino last night. I was in the Discord with them talking to them while they were doing it. But to be honest, is that a snake? It must be a dead snake because it's not moving. Um, to be honest, I could not be bothered do playing the game or helping them or doing anything. So I just sat there talking to them while I was watching YouTube. <laughs> you suck. Anyway, so I was thinking about where to place this. Sorry, I just have to wipe my face. Again, I also apologise if you hear my fan in the background. It's like 38 degrees and it's 6.30pm here. And that's really hot. But I was thinking, where should I place this uh, animal pen thing? Because we've got... Eh, we've got, like, what? The main base there. The little storage hut there. We've got the courthouse. The hanging place. So I just wasn't too sure. Then, I was thinking, maybe we should put it down here. Kind of keep the pattern of running along the wall, uh, the cliff face here going. Then I was also thinking, eh, the problem with that is that you kind of want the animals to be nearby. That was weird looking when that dis dies warm. You kind of want the animals nearby when you're know, doing stuff. You don't want to have to run around the whole damn map trying to find them. So, I'm thinking thinking we should probably just put them maybe kind of like going this way a little bit have it long ways where these two trees and these rocks are I don't know I think that may be the way to go now I'm just going to quickly show you the design I have in mind for this and then I'm going to build it and show you what it's going to look like in the end. Because I feel like that's just going to be the quicker and easier way to do things. Assuming I have what I need, which apparently I don't. Do I even have resources? I don't know. I've been a little bit lazy the last uh, last week or so and haven't done any mining. So I should probably do some when I finish doing this. Uh, cotton, should I use cotton? Cotton is what we have on this island, right? I think it is. So I'm going to quickly make up some walls and some floors. Alright, so I just want 20. You know what, 20 should let me get the basic gist of what I want to accomplish so I can show you what it's going to look like. So, if this will just hurry up and get done. And done. Okay. Now we have to decide where we want this. So, I'm thinking... Here's the other thing too, we've got to be able to access it pretty easily. So... Hmm. Kind of, I kind of like the idea of, where's six, there it is. Kind of like the idea of kind of making like a big courtyard. So maybe if we go something like this. Oh, of course it's now getting dark. Gamma 4. Yay! Okay. Floor is obstructed. Of course the floor is obstructed. Why wouldn't the floor be obstructed? I mean, it'd make it'd be weird if the floor wasn't obstructed. Alright, so we go like this. kind of want to make it three wide for most of the pens. I'm thinking we leave like the the other two in there. Maybe I can do a little bit of a little bit of fanciness with this and avoid this particular issue we're having here. No, I didn't want that. I oh, did want that. What the hell is that? Oh, it's just a leaf. Let's get the crap out of me. I thought a snake was coming at me. 
put that there. Hey, can I actually place a ceiling down there? No, worth a shot. Goddamn official not having no clip. Um, so I'm thinking we're gonna have like little stalls like so, right? Then we're gonna have these go around. And then, uh, actually, I wanted to use, I want to use thatch, thatch stuff like that. Do we want to go up one more, or do we want, maybe we'll go, hmm, I don't know. Can I pick these back up? Okay, can we do it? Maybe we go like this with the thatch. No, I want you this way, damn it. Like so. Give me that back. So we'll do that. And then have the animals come in here. The only problem is how are we going to get them in? We need like a small gateway, but the small gateways are gigantic. Um, hold on, give me a sec. Okay, so this is the... The design I've kind of come up with it's a bit janky I guess will be the way I'd describe it compared to the way I want it uh, I suppose what I could do to try and fix it is move all of these up one so let's have a quick look let's see what that's like so you do that then we go up like that and then we can just make it flat you know what that's probably better I think I may do that actually but that's gonna yeah that's that's what I'm gonna do so I'm just gonna move these up one I'll put another railing around here move all of that up one I'll get rid of that top layer and then it'll be flat and even with the top of the gate that way it's not so big I think I think that's the smart move I think that's the way to go but yeah that's gonna be what the basic design is it's going to be probably what at least how many animals do we have in here that should that can can have their own pen for now oh crap there's a lot so two bears two four six you have a card on the back of you so we need at least six seven two three four five six and the sheeps can have share one so about seven seven of those things now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and build a lot of build all of them. And while I do that, you all can have a look at what I consider to be the lazy part of the episode, which is some leftover footage I had from me mucking around and um, doing some shit with the dam hunting just to fill out this episode and so I can use those clips that I recorded. I don't like wasting things. So I'll see you after all that. Just in the last second we'll give you a release. Yeah. <laughs> Well, he, he put himself in this Don't situation. touch my dick. Please, I'm about to die. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you gotta look at the noose and release noose or whatever. Hey, hey, I lowered the rope. Smokey, no, why? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna die. I need a skeleton. Leave him alone. <laughs> no. Bad Vincent! No! 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 I thought I hanged myself for a second then. Wait, what? I saved Mr. Wait, Bob! Why is my body here? Why are you. Why are you evil? No! No, treachery! <laughs> treachery is among us! Watching bones hang and not help you, bastard. Not Can fair. you lower that rope for me there, Vinny? It is lower. What are you? How are you holding me? Not me! Oh, <laughs> god damn it, this stupid thing. Well, I wasn't there to watch him hang, but at least I was mentally watching vicariously, you know? Well, at the moment, they're, well, fighting, they're, they're, they're trying to hang me, and they just can't put me in the mix. Oh, there they go. Whoa, oh, there whoa, they go. hey. I, I'm just... Oh... Really? <laughs> you to hang in and watch you die. And I want nothing to do with any of that. <laughs> my last act as a uh, my last act of life was to hang you. 
I don't even know what killed me. <laughs> yeah. Why? No, I don't like this. I don't agree with any of this situation. Can I hang yourself? By the way, for some reason, hanging is backwards. I don't understand why they've done this. Uh, it's just uh, placement. Because they're bad. Bad, bad people. Bad, bad people. I'd help, but it looks like he has a gun. Yeah, but... He's a bad shot. If I'm two ships across, I don't know what happened. Yep, sounds a bit alright. <gasps> Typical shirking your responsibilities. Just hanging out in the express. I didn't hear anything about a hang. I'm nearly dead. I need food. I need food. What the hell is going on there? Did going you on. just hang yourself up? Like you oh, I thought that oh, was your body. Uh, somebody harvested my body. Okay, nope. I, I needed your body. Come back here. No, stay the fuck away from me. No! <laughs> you cannot run from me! My legs are broken and everything. <laughs> this is not cool. Treachery! Treachery! Where's my shit? Why can I not? Oh, I see how I put it back on the body. Um, Mr. Bounds? Did you get. Oh, you grabbed my stuff, did you? No. Not my special armor. My pikes, my weapons, my spyglass that apparently had a second on it. Why'd you break my grappling hook? I didn't. <laughs> no, I don't. Oh, for fuck's sake, I needed that. <laughs> really, did you? I was not aware. Of your need for my body. I guess you'll just have to use the one that you have up there, and not mine. That's no fun. Yeah, yeah it seems a fun. Use your own body. Don't use my body. My body is precious. It's unique. It's one of a kind. It's not for thing, and it's goddamn heatwave, so I can't put my armor on to stop you from shooting me. What I can do is stay underwater. But you have a speed gun, don't you? Stop trying to hang me! <laughs> Stop it! Stop there is no me. escape! Get the map that's here that I can hear. There's always an escape. You just gotta be quick about it. I must escape you and your church. No! You're here again! Ow! I don't agree with this situation. <laughs> I don't agree. This is not, not giving good shot. Thank God he's a terrible shot. <laughs> Duck and weave. He's gonna get me eventually. There we go. <laughs> 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 oh. Must respawn on bed. Retrieve items. Kill bones. I mean, okay, why am I over encumbered all of a sudden? Because I'm carrying a lot of stuff. That better? Yes. No, smoky corpse. No smoky corpse. No smoky corpse. No corpse. Swim. 
I'll just make another swim. one. <laughs> swim. Swim. No. Swim. Run. Run. Run away. Duck and weave. Don't go in a straight line. Straight lines are terrible. He can't aim. Duck and weave. Run away. God damn it. I just wanted a fucking body for my fucking chip. Run away. Run away. You're not gonna get me. Get this twat over here. Take him. You traitor. Behind you. You're a traitor. I don't trust him. He's sneaky. I'm gonna go join this crew. With their green ship. Apparently they wanna use a green screen or something. I don't know what they're doing. Why is their base green? Why are you using green? Stop it. Seems like a good Bones. game. But there's Red so ship. many corners. Red ship shooting I at mean, you, Bones. <laughs> There's so many areas that they could have increased and made a lot better than what they did. Uh, yeah, but it was like 40 people versus 400, so... Yeah, yeah. I think game companies have kind of forgotten what an RPG actually is. And they're just classing fucking anything and everything as RPG nowadays. Yeah, I don't disagree. I mean, you know, Skyrim was awesome, though. I don't know. That was Obsidian. Those are the guys that made New Vegas. I think it's right on. No, I'm, I'm not bitching about the... Uh, yeah, I'm not bitching about the, the other game. I was just talking about the... Uh, like, uh, Fallout New Vegas was obviously, yeah, awesome. Like, I mean, Fallout New Vegas was fucking massive. Like, I mean, the size and complexity of Fallout New Vegas in comparison to the other world. It's like, oh, yeah. mind boggling. I mean, just the size of it, you know? Yeah, yeah. well, you know, you gotta remember, it is, it is a new, uh, you know, Another Worlds is a new game. So, yeah. it's very likely they're trying to be a little careful with it. They don't want to put too much money into it, but if it does well, They'll likely put out a sequel and it'll be a lot bigger. Yeah, it's... I mean, I suppose they could add a, add a few planets in there and call it DLC and microtransactions. Oh, I'm shit. sure, yeah. Wow, well, they said something about microtransactions? The, the, the thing is, they, they, they didn't fall into the trap of just making a really large world for the sake of having a really large world. They've made it so it's an interesting world. Right. And... Like, the story is fun, like, the characters are funny, you enjoy everything, ugh, nothing in this thing. The thing is, you, you seem to be kind of led down a garden path, if you Yeah, want. but you're not. It's like... There's choices you, you make. You are and you aren't, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a cho it's all the choices. I mean, if you, f if you follow the main path all the way through, well, yeah. But, if you take the time to enjoy all the little side quests, which there are quite a few, yeah. You know, it, it's actually a really interesting little, you know, story. It kind of tells you a lot more about each world, really. Yeah. You know, and what's going on on, those, on that world. Look, I've, only, I've only played the first three, four hours, and I've already overthrown an entire town and installed a new leader in it. <laughs> I mean, there was an option to yep. shut down the entire town, or... Or, you could, or oh, yeah. you could give the town the power and then keep the original leader. It's, so there's... There is big changes that happen. Yep. Based on what you do, there's there's some way to do that in a, in a in a middling fashion where you basically allow both leaders to stay somehow, and I guess everything is good. Yeah. Um, but uh, I I didn't achieve that one. I was trying for it though because I really wanted to see what would happen. Yeah, I, I just I over I over I was like I'm gonna take all these garden people who are shitty at me for taking their power away, and I'm gonna go I'm, I'm gonna give them the big city. And my theory was behind it. The city has walls, so they should be safer. <laughs> right. And they're going to turn that... Uh, from my understanding is <clears throat> the woman wants to turn that old cannery factory into a food thing, so... Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if that's going to work. I haven't gotten that far yet, so... Well, I don't know. If you go through the town and take everybody out, man, they should grow like mad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know anything about the story, anyway? <laughs> 
Oh. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I kind of got when I read that. I just kind of went, "Okay, okay, yeah, it makes sense." <laughs> yeah. Gee, oh, nothing well, works to make this place grow except for one thing. <laughs> I like it when I told the guy. Oh, when, I told, when I told the guy how, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when I told the the, the read the <coughs> original leader of the city that, and he was like, "Oh, that explains where everything from that from the thing has gone." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Smoke, you got enough guns on the upper two decks? No. <laughs> Nothing in comparison. Oh, there's a to whale around here somewhere. Oh, no, it's a dolphin. Well, wow. there's a level 19 bear here that looks like it got attacked and it's still alive. So I'm assuming there must be a lion around here that got, uh, you know, glitched. Probably. Or it did. I like how we're just all kind of sitting in the middle of the ocean. More enemies! More enemies! My sails are doing the laggy, glitchy thing. Slob it, sails. Must defend and sink all the enemy I've, ships. I've used a galleon for like fighting ships with them before as well. It's like too bad. It's terrible. Gauge, fiberglass, corvette, ramming chassis. It's freaking terrible. It's more of a Coming in for the finisher. Army speed, full head. Don't run over. God the damn you, Smokey! Oh god damn it, Vinny! Did you run over the loot? <laughs> I don't know, but that son bitch went down. Was I not supposed to have fun? Oh, yeah, I meant to have fun. How so dare fun. you. So you did destroy the loot from the ship. Yeah. Uh, well, no one should have shot it at that, that exact moment. Huh. <laughs> oh, more ships. More ships! Let's not get Conti over a few pieces of gold coins now. Uh, it's not the gold coins. <laughs> I don't care about the gold coins, it's the blueprints. We need more cannon blueprints. Yeah. We need 150 pluses. I don't know, I still see a purple look. Yeah, it's just a normal one. Ah, uh, it's just flotsam, I checked it. I gotta start heading for this other um, thing now. I've got a couple of crew already. Roger! Follow you. Okay. I'll fight these ships on my own. <laughs> Well, I would help Smokey, but I have nothing. That's alright, your little cargo screen will probably just get in the way. <laughs> probably, probably run the loot over or something terrible. Probably. <laughs> it does seem like something you would do. Apparently. Oh, firing at both sides on my ship at once. Oh, that was cool. Double kill. D.O. <laughs> I saw you for a while, Vinny. You been alright? Well, here we have it. I hope you enjoyed those little clips of me mucking around and doing some ship battles. But anyway, here we have our little uh, barn, I suppose this is what this is. Got our two tigers in here. We got a couple horses. We got a, my bear, Plugger. This is just going to be a temporary pen for Plugger. I've got to move him over to my house when I make somewhere safe for him. Here we've got Silent Sheep that he likes to do things with. I don't know what he does with the sheep. Don't ask. And then we got Bruce the bear. I don't remember whose bear Bruce is but we got Bruce there. So yeah, there's our little taming pen. Like I said over here this pen is basically going to be kept for um, big animals now I suppose like elephants and Maybe if we put a rhino down here, or I, don't, I don't know what they're planning. I haven't spoken to them beyond whatever mumblings we did last night. 
But that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Uh, whatever else I have to ask you. I'm honestly too tired. I've had a very long day today with work. And that's going to be it for now, guys. So, as always, have a good one. And I'll see you all next time. Bye! The freaking hell is my bedroom? So many doors in this place. There it is. Yay! I can sleep now.